Yo what's up guys, I'm Tech here. I'm back in with a new video. So in this video, I've got the Logitech MS20. So let's get started with the video. So the mouse has two side buttons, this one and this one. These both you can customize to whatever you want. There's a few options in the app, which I will show you guys in a bit. And then there's this one button right here. Since this mouse is um multi-device, so you can connect it to um three, up to three devices and then just press this button to switch between those devices. This mouse has an app where you can change what you want each button on the mouse to do. So, for example, the side buttons, you can change what you want them to do. And there is a lot of options. So, mine's set to dos desktop right right now. But there's a bunch of options, as you guys can see. And it's the same for the other side button as well. There's a lot of options. I've set that one for desktop left. And then even for the button, um, like... On your thumb there's a lot of options that you can choose from i've set that one to back and then if you're going to point and scroll that's where you can change the pointer speed the scrolling speed scroll direction smooth scrolling and stuff and then this is the coolest feature so let's say you have completely two different devices and the mouse is connected to both of them you can move your cursor seamlessly between two completely different computers and then uh basically just exchange like you know swap files copy paste text copy images and then as i mentioned earlier files and then there's a button right here as well and you can change this button to do whatever you want in the set in the actual app for this mouse so the other high-end mouse that i have used is the apple magic mouse and this mouse was about $120. It's definitely not bad, but I feel like that this Logitech mouse is much better. It, I got this for $70 on sale, I guess. And the original price is like $90. Now, this mouse just does not have as much features that this mouse does. Like, this has side buttons, multi-device connection, a screen very good scroll wheel a very fe like good feel when you're holding it it's very comfortable and the problem with this mouse is that it's like very like you know down and it just gets kind of like uncomfortable as compared to this which is much more comfortable and there's no side buttons on this it's basically just a normal mouse but it's just like a bit premium feeling but definitely this one's more comfortable in the hand and i would prefer this one over this Okay, so I'm going to be showing you guys how these buttons work, like the side buttons, how like you can customize them. So as I showed you guys earlier in the app that you can customize these buttons. And um, so I've got this mouse connected to my laptop right now. And if I click on this top button right here, as you can see, it will change tabs. And then the button like on the one on the right side, if I click on that, it will take me back to the desktop. And then this button right here is used to switch devices. So as you guys can see, if I click on it right now, it's on two, then it's on the third device, whichever one that's paired to. And then we're back to one and two, which is my laptop. So this mouse also has vertical scroll. So you can just like move the scroll wheel to like your left and then like right like that. And you might be thinking like how is this useful so it might not be useful for everyone but for someone like me who edits their videos on like a mouse um so let's say like i'm scrolling through the timeline i can just like do that and then scroll through the timeline which is pretty cool and it just makes everything much better Either ways, that's been it. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and I'll catch you guys very soon in the next one. Peace.